What if there was a pill that could force your body to burn a pound of fat a day without dieting? A compound so powerful it could raise your metabolism by 50%. Now what if I told you that same pill was a banned industrial chemical, a key ingredient in explosives, and that a single overdose could literally cook you from the inside out? This isn't fiction, it's dinitrophenol, or DNP. And in 1996, Dan Duchesne called it the most dangerous compound being used in bodybuilding today. This is the story of death wish dieting. To understand DNP, you have to go back in time. Duchesne lays out the history in his newsletter. It was first documented by French researchers in 1885. By the early 1900s, it wasn't a diet aid. It was used by the German and French militaries to ignite TNT. Workers in these munitions factories experienced the side effects firsthand extreme heat, profuse sweating, and rapid wave loss. After a Stanford University study in 1931 confirmed its weight loss effects, DMP became an over the counter sensation in America. Duchesne knows that at least 100,000 people used it, mostly without medical supervision. But reports of a horrifying side effect. Cataracts and numerous deaths led the FDA to pull it from the market in 1938, classing it as extremely dangerous. And there it stayed, in the shadows, until the hardcore bodybuilding underground rediscovered it. So why is DNP so powerful and so dangerous? Duchesne called it the mother of all uncouplers. To understand that, you need to know how your body makes energy. Think of the mitochondria in your cells as tiny, efficient furnaces. They take fuel, like fatty acids, and burn it to create ATP, the energy currency of your body. It's a clean, controlled burn. DNP breaks this process. It uncouples the reaction. The furnace is still burning fat at a frantic pace, but it can no longer create ATP efficiently. All that energy has to go, so it's released as pure, raw heat. Your body becomes a biological inferno, incinerating fat to try and keep up with energy demands. The result? A staggering 50% increase in metabolic rate. This is where the death wish part comes in. Duchesne was crystal clear about the dangers. He wrote, an overdose can be fatal. Unlike other thermogenic drugs, DNP has no off switch. There is no body temperature plateau. The heat just keeps building. He also pointed out the terrifyingly narrow safety margin. But Duchesne uncovered a more subtle, insidious danger. He explained that DNP nukes the liver's ATP stores, which prevents the conversion of inactive T4 thyroid hormone into active T3. The terrifying result is that a user's body temperature can drop, fooling them into thinking the drug isn't working. If they make the fatal mistake of increasing the dose at this point, the results are catastrophic. Later on, he details coaching a female competitor who used DNP. He watched her constantly, looking for subtle signs of trouble. He wrote that he noticed her lips and gums were very dry, an indication of dehydration. It turned out she had upped her dose. Duchesne immediately had her stop for 72 hours and forced drink water to clear the poison from her system before something terrible happened. Duchesne also gave detailed instructions on how to make DMP capsules from raw, moist powder. He listed dosages, he explained the entire mechanism. He was a clearinghouse for information no matter how dangerous. But on that same page he issued his final, stark warning. And it's the only conclusion that matters. I rarely suggest anyone try this combination, or even DNP alone, simply because without proper supervision, an overdose can be fatal. Remember, DNP is not a drug, it's a poison. Slightly too much, and you're dead. This wasn't a recommendation, it was a history lesson on one of the darkest chapters in performance enhancement, a chapter that for anyone thinking of repeating it, is a clear cut death wish.